All right, jump superstars. Let's get this out of the way right now. It is not a you can play this. It is a you can't play this. It's impossible to play the game correctly without knowing Japanese or having a walkthrough or having an FAQ. Now, sure, some people would argue that you could play the game and just have fun with it, but to get to that part of the game, which is only about 20% right off the bat, you have to go through Japanese menus. And there's a lot of options in those areas. And without touching on the screen and trying to figure out what's going on, you're just going to be kind of dead in the water. So, all right, let's just bite the bullet. So why am I reviewing this game? Well, for two reasons. The first one, you guys just won't leave me alone about it. And number two, I remember that it was sold several years back in some Best Buys, along with a Naruto import game, to get people interested in Japanese games. But it didn't come with a how-to booklet, and so there are still people who are probably interested in how to play it. But this wasn't the first time that Shonen Jump put all its characters into one game. The first time was in 1988 for the Famicom with Famicom Jump Hero Retsuden. You are sucked into your weekly Shonen Jump magazines and fight alongside your favorite characters. This was a 20th anniversary game for Weekly Shonen Jump and it featured its prominent heroes in an RPG format. And two years later, another Famicom Jump game was released. It too had an RPG storyline, but with fewer characters and fewer crossing manga storylines. But by being able to start off as one of seven characters, it was really fun and versatile, too. So, now we get to the long-awaited DS Spectacular that is Jump Superstars. This is a fighting game similar in style to Super Smash Bros., but that's pretty much where the similarity ends. The main focus of Jump Superstars is the coma fighting system. In the touchscreen part of the game, you have a 4x5 grid. This is where you make your team. By choosing different characters from your collection, you can add them to this grid and then battle with them. Some characters fight, while others just support. Here's the controls. The B button is a light attack, and the Y button is a strong attack. The X button executes a character's special attack, and the A button is the jump button. You can modify the attacks by pushing in a direction and then pressing one of the three buttons. Lastly, the left and right buttons act as your guard. You can also guard by just pushing down. But most important is the touch screen. See, while you're pushing all these buttons, you're still touching the touch screen. You use your thumb to touch on certain characters to do power moves, healing specials, or power up maneuvers, as well as destroy the edges of the battlefield, which is like a manga. Dream combo attacks are where two characters participate in an attack together. Just press the current character and then the adjacent character, and then the current character again on the touchpad, and watch your opponent fly. Now a super tag attack is special in that there are some characters that just work well together. Like Luffy from One Piece, and Jotaro from Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. Once you get these green, yellow, and red comas, you can place them onto the coma grid to touch the two special characters. Then when you touch any one of these cards, both characters will come out and do a special move together. And there's quite a few combinations to boot. So now that you know how to play the game, I could stop right there. I mean, that's essentially the game. But you really need to know about unlocking characters, support comas, help comas, and battle comas. When you begin, you're given just a few characters to start off with. As you progress in the map mode of the game, you unlock more special character cards to use. Each one has a color. In your list, you have a favorites check mark to check characters that you like, the name of the character card, how many grid points that character takes up, what the card pattern of that character coma is, and what kind of card it is. Green is a helper card. Helpers heal or power your characters up. Blue is a support card. Support characters quickly come in, do an attack, and then skid out. And red is your battle coma. And finally is if the card is a power, knowledge, or laughter coma. Along the way, you may see a black and white block that has a hole in it and some Japanese characters in it. 
These are usually stronger comas that you can unlock. To unlock these, simply use one of your one coma characters and see if it unlocks. If it doesn't, then try a different one. Okay, now let's tackle the menus. These are essential if you're going to get anywhere in the game. Jump Adventure is the storyline part of the game. To play it, you need to complete different tasks. Now, these are in Japanese, so this is where you need the walkthrough. There's play for multiple cards, or if your friends don't have the game, you can use the download option. And you can trade decks your friends have made on their games. Deck Maker is where you make custom decks to play in any of the various modes. You can edit your decks, rename them, copy them, switch them around, or even delete them. Then, when you're done, you can quit and save, or quit without saving. Man, that was a lot to process, but trust me, it's really worth it. Now, two years later, there was a sequel made called Jump Ultimate Stars, but that's really yeah, another game. Oh, you said you were going to. Oh, all I mean, right, you well, you all get of off them. my back already! Gameplay is essentially the same. Some of the character cards have different sprites, depending on which version you use. There's also a guard break that swaps out your opponent's character by pressing down plus B. A sorely needed essential, however, was the dash. Also, you can spend gems earned in battles to upgrade characters and get higher coma cards for them. And this is how you get more coma in this version. The menu is similar to Jump Superstars, but is in a different pattern. The addition of online play really adds a lot to this version. And I also think that it's a cleaner and more refined version of the two. And something I really like about Jump Ultimate Stars is that they brought back almost every single playable character from Famicom Jump 2. Momotaro, Ryo-san, Jotaro, Tachan, Tyson, and Goku. Unfortunately, Taruruto didn't make it back, but one can always hope that they do a third game. So, to wrap things up. Fighting gamers will get a lot out of this title, as will the casual gamer who likes Super Smash Bros. Melee. And even if you're not a big fan of fighters, playing a game with your favorite characters from Viz Comics is always a bonus. Now, the story mode is difficult, no joke, especially if you don't read Japanese. The graphics are astounding. Each character has their own sprites, and each sprite is completely well done. Not only do they look like the characters, but they have personality, too. This game is the only 5 out of 5 for language difficulty that I will probably ever review. You just cannot proceed without an FAQ about what criteria to meet to unlock more characters. And FAQs and walkthroughs are against everything that you can play this is. Complex fighting controls will naturally come to fighting game fans. Others will find it easy to pick up and learn through story mode as it teaches you how to do moves as you go along. It's a fighting game, of course it's replayable, and you will definitely want to make new decks with your favorite characters from Shonen Jump. Jump Superstars can be found for about $15 to $40 online, but nowadays I wouldn't pay more than $25 plus shipping. Jump Ultimate Stars, however, is a bit newer, and so use your discretion about how much you want to pay. Now there are many more tricks to this game, like how to make a deck correctly, or which characters work well for each other. But this review is just so that you can get started playing on it. You know, I am kind of glad that I did a review of this game. Well balanced and creative, I really don't think that there's another fighting game like it anywhere out there. So while these games really aren't a you can play this, I gotta tell you, these really are definitely a you must play this. So thanks for watching, and be sure to leave written or video comments about what you thought of this episode, or about other games you might like to see me play in the future. Oh, hey man, what's up? Hey Justin, I was thinking you should do Jump Superstars for your next video. <laughs>